Hello friends, welcome back to part 5 of my series of vlogs on our Switzerland trip. Today I will take you to Engelberg Lake and Mount Pilatus. To reach Pilatus Pan, we took a train to Almastad from Engelberg and then a Cogwheel Railway to Mount Pilatus. You can take an aerial cable car from Luzon Queens to reach Mount Pilatus. Here we are at Pilatus Pan. There was a small queue to go up. Cogwheel Railway here is known as world's deepest cogwheel with 48% gradient. While waiting for our turn to go up, I had some fun with this cute little dog. And we started our journey on the top of Mount Pilatus. Cogwheel Railway is similar to Panic Funiculer, but this one travels faster and to longer distance. Travelling in Cogwheel or Funicular is always a fun. You get to see amazing views from the top and gives you a feeling of effortless trekking or hiking. Tracks I like hiking trails, Ropeway doesn't give you this feeling. We were greeted by these two gentlemen dressed in Swiss traditional clothes and playing Swiss horn, which is popularly known as a pine horn. We also had this little guest on top. I tried to feed it directly from my hand. But it seems it was a bit scared of me and chose to eat grains I threw towards it. We are now going down on other side towards Queen's Loser. We took this aerial cable car which will take us to Framungtag station. There are some activities you can do like rope walk, zip line and topic on run. Some kids are doing rope walking in the back which will be followed by zipline. Most popular here is Tobagon Run. It is at 1450 meter altitude from sea level and it is and it is 1350 meter long. We are waiting for our turn to this run. Mama wanted to go first so that Papa can take a video. Taking video is not allowed during the down run, so we had to take at the start and end only.
And then it was my turn. I could control the sledge with little guidance from the guide. It was so much fun. Mama has completed 1.3 km long run. And now we are going back up. While returning, Papa took this video as it was allowed while going up. You don't need to uh, you don't need to control the sledge on return so you can enjoy the view around. There were some Swiss cows grazing in the grassland. We could even hear enchanting sounds of the Swiss bells hang around the neck. This lady has a small shop here and she has this beautiful golden retriever dog named Sunny. It was very friendly. I played with Sunny for some time. After the run down, we enjoyed this beautiful view. What is this, Arni? It's a barbecue. Oh. On way back to cable car for queens. We came across this puppy with cuteness overloaded. We again took a cable car to Queens. Cables were passing through tall trees and it was a sight to watch. There was this kid play area and park at a stopover in between. We got down here for a while and enjoyed few rides here. Wow, look at the dog. This is the last lag of our journey to Quinn's Loser. You can see entire Loser town from the roadway. Back home. I'm enjoying the company of my favorite Maggie. Hmm, it's yummy. We visited Pilates while we were at Engelberg. This is our Airbnb home at Engelberg. Location of house was very peaceful.
It was a 3 BHK home and just 5 minutes walking distance from the train station. So it was very convenient. Angleborough Lake was just 10 minutes far. We went to Lakeside in the afternoon. View from the gallery was like a scene straight out from a poster. It was a pleasant weather and we headed to the lake in afternoon. It was a small lake but very beautiful because of the surrounding hills. Walking on the lake side was very refreshing. As it was Sunday afternoon, there were some locals fishing at the lake. I sat on a rock close to the water and was having fun. Mama was also having fun by dipping her feet in cold water. Water was so clean and clear that I can even see Mama's nail polish inside the water. We took a full round on the lakeside. It was a walk to remember. So peaceful and refreshing that I wanted to come to this place again next day. But we were on a trip and had to cover few more places. I was in so much love with this place that I told my papa that I will do my higher studies in Switzerland. I enjoyed a free ride back home, thanks to my papa. This is our Airbnb home surrounded by lots of plantations. It also had a small kids play area. Having dinner on the balcony with views of beautiful mountains was a great experience. In the morning, Mama and Papa did their morning puja in the gallery with, with boats jumping around. It was very peaceful and divine. So friends, Hope you have enjoyed my trip to Pilates and Angleburg Lake. Stay connected for more videos on our Switzerland trip and do not forget to like, share and subscribe my channel for new updates. Thank you!